Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film a look based on a photo that I uploaded to Instagram a few days ago. So and I was pretty much just playing around with lots of plum shades and yeah, I got a lot of positive feedback on that look that I did. So I thought I'd create it as a tutorial for you guys today. So if you're interested to see how you can recreate this look, then keep watching. I'm gonna start off by priming my face. So I'm using the Benefits Professional. In that photo, I use the NARS All Their Weightless Luminous Foundation, but today I'm also going to mix it in with the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum in Beige and Dark Beige. The Sigma 3D HD Kabuki Brush. I'm just going to blend that all out. Now that we've got a foundation on, I'm going to go in with concealer. The one I'm using today is by LA Girl. It's a pro concealer and this is in pure beige. Then I'm going to go in with a Zoeva concealer buffer brush. Gloria Lumi Magic in I think dark three. And we're just gonna pop that under our eyes as well and then wherever we wanna highlight. So I'm gonna put it above my cheekbones because later on I'm gonna put a powder highlight there. I'm going to go in with a setting powder for under my eyes first and then I'll set the rest of my face. I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Banana Powder. So I'm just going to press that under my eyes. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Face of Australia Translucent Loose Setting Powder. So I've already filled in my brows and I've primed my eyelids. I've put the products that I've used in the description box as usual. I'm going to start off with a base. So I'm using the MAC Paint Pot and Artifact. It's this one here. I just grabbed one of these dual fiber flat brushes. I like using these kind of ones for cream eyeshadows. I'm going to be using Anastasia's shadow in Morocco, which is this one here, on a Sigma E40 tapered blending brush. And we're just going to put that into the crease. And now I've switched to the BH Cosmetics fluffy brush. I'm going to go in from into the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and pick up shade Cherry Cordial, which is this one here. Put it into the outer half of my eye. I use Cherry Cordial and Morocco and just put it underneath my lower lash line as well. I'm gonna be grabbing character from my Stila palette, which is this glittery shade here. I grab that VH Cosmetics blending brush again and just dip into Morocco like literally once. That's all you need and it goes like crazy pigmentation. And we're just gonna blend the edges out. And I just like to blend down on top of those two shadows just so they blend together. 
Zoe of a Pencil Luxe Petite Crease Brush and just dip into that black by Anastasia which is Noir just in that little outer corner as well but the tiniest amount and we're just going to place it on and I guess connect it down as well but yeah so that'll just be the darkest point of our eyeshadow and make sure everything's all nice and blended Alright, since we've got this palette out, which is this one here I'm just going to highlight my brow bone I'm going to add um, Spoiled by Anastasia as well so it's this one here just because clearly I have not had enough but we're just going to apply this onto the center of our eyelids and it's pretty where did you go? okay so the Maybelline Eye Studio in black I have a Zoeva wing liner brush we're just going to put eyeliner on and we're going to check it in our waterline as well and into our waterline set all that black eyeliner with black eyeshadow just so it doesn't move around so I'm going to be using Noir by Anastasia again on a Real Techniques accent brush just so it kind of mattifies that eyeliner and also it sets it in place so it won't smudge So I'm going to be using my Maybelline Lash Sensational One of the EXO Beauty Lashes this is called the Soulmate Let's just try them on kids Okay, so we've got one down. Does it make a difference? It does a little bit, right? Now that that's on, let's just blend the lash bands into our natural lashes. And Anastasia's Noir. And where's that teeny tiny brush? Okay, we'll use this wing liner brush. For bronzer today, I'm going to be, well for contouring I guess, I'm going to be using, is it called Casino Bronzer? It just says Nars Casino. And Sigma Small Contour Brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that underneath where my cheekbones would be if I had more of a um, chiseled face. And yeah, so we're just going to fake some cheekbones here. I like to apply some underneath my jaw as well and also the other day I used one of these brushes this is a paint brush it's called the Royal Majestic 3 quarters 4160 brush and I use this to contour my nose a little bit so I just draw a little line down the side I'm just gonna blend out the little side the little sides the edges of that ever so slightly just so there's no harsh lines of where we applied that bronzer. I guess this is more of a bronzer. It's a NYX medium bronzer with a Eco Chills face brush. And I'm just going to apply that kind of lightly all over the rest of my face. The Napoleon Curtis blush in the flushing. And that's because I was lazy and it was the first blush that was near me. So. That seemed to work. Oh, and I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush. The Baker Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pot with a Sigma Tapered Highlight brush. Down my nose. Mm, it's getting cloudy. I'm sure my 
Lighting has changed like six different times in this video. We're using Soul by MAC. I'm using the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Celebrity Skin. Let me know what you guys think of this look in the comment section and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I hope everyone has a good day or night wherever you are and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys! Flawless? Flawless? Makeup's a fun thing to do, so this is fun. It's fun, okay? <laughs>